I'm sleeping in my bed tonight, man. I'm, I'm pumped on that. You know, it's um, it's nice that I'd have to travel, but I've been racing here in Murray Bridge since I was five years old. Um, it, I'm so stoked that it's back on the, the national circuit this year. It's a great track. Everyone that's walked it did track walk. Everyone's like, man, what a sick track. Was Everyone's stoked on it. So I can't wait to get out there. Tomorrow is going to be great racing. The weather's good. I'm feeling good. The Penrock 24 Kawasaki is really working good for me now. We're halfway through the series. We've figured out the bike. Massive thanks to Franco's race shop. He's helped huge. Um, but yeah, everyone that's behind uh, this team and supporting us is, is massive. So we're ready to go. Hey, for what we know, this is probably going to be your last professional motocross here, Pro Max here at Murray Bridge. Um, being your hometown, home track, somewhere you've had so much success and a lot of history in the past. Is it emotional? Is there a bit of feelings here today for you, yeah. Eddie? Yeah, I'm starting to feel a bit emotional already. <laughs> yeah, I just love racing in front of my kids and my family and to have um, yeah, my mum and my dad supporting me huge through this whole program. He's been amazing as a, as a father and mentor to me too. Um, but everyone that's here supporting as, as friends, family. Um, yeah, I, I love racing here in this atmosphere, but I also love the track and um, it makes me want to step up and do a little bit more and uh, we'll see what we got tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, Murray Bridge has always been good to me. Um, you know, I've had great results here in the past and uh, you know, completely new layout for everyone. And um, yeah, so far it looks, you know, really good. It's gonna be interesting to see how it forms. I think it's a little bit, maybe more hard packed than, you know, it has been. Still gonna be uh, quite loamy, but I'm excited. Hey, you've been pretty transparent and vocal beginning of the season about, you know, the struggle setting the bike up. It hasn't gone as easy as you have liked. Where are we at with that right now for you? And is there a sense of urgency to sort of on yourself to, to you know, whether that podium or to that, that feeling once again of, of being back on the podium? Um, yeah, look, we've had four weeks or five or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I've done a whole lot of testing um, this time. And, you know, I've tested more than I ever have in my whole life, really, this, this, this six months it's been. And uh, I feel like... You know, I've, I've said it in the past few rounds that we've, you know, we've made some gains, but honestly, I feel like this time we've, we've really found something on the bike. Um, we really went almost back to where we started and worked from there. It's been a really busy couple of weeks for me, but something's just clicked in the last week. Um, you know, will it translate to the race day? I don't know. I think it will. I feel really, you know, comfortable, confident, you know, when I'm training and probably the best I've felt, to be honest, all year. So um we'll see how it goes tomorrow race day is always different but uh yeah i've got some confidence about it a lot of positivity coming from luke clough for this weekend mate uh we'll see you on the track yeah feeling really good um we just finished up track walk here obviously a whole new layout for murray bridge which uh which have done a really really good job so yeah it looks deep uh it looks like it's it's got some really good moisture in it um and and really wide that was probably the one things uh that i noticed when walking the track so I think there's going to be a lot, a lot of lines out there tomorrow. Uh, I think it's going to probably be, by the looks of it, one of the roughest tracks we've had on the calendar so far. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. We've had we've had a good four weeks. I'm stoked to be back at the races and just looking forward to get it underway. Hey, we're heading into the second half of the season here. You know, three rounds to go after this. A bit of reflection on the start of the season for you. There's been a lot of success and a lot of, you know, boxes that you've ticked. Just take me through that and sort of how you reflect on the beginning of the season so far. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. Um, I can't ask for much more. You know, obviously I, I really want to win. I um, I want to get one of those before the, the series is out. Obviously I've had a couple of moto wins and that's that's really good, you know. Um, but I I was kind of, I was prepared to accept a, a little bit of a learning curve um, sort of year. But dude, I've been I've been up there and, and it's it's been a breath of fresh air for me and um, yeah, it's, it's just how much hard work the team and I put in leading into this. You know, I didn't take any time off after Supercross last year. So I'm glad I did that because, you know, it's uh, I feel like hadn't have I done that, you know, maybe I'd still be sort of battling some things. But um, no, I'm stoked with how it's been this, this year. Really good few weeks. I uh, went back to Perth for a little while, raced manager up in King of the Sand. Um, really fun. Obviously, it's a good time to go back and see my family, spend some time at home and I guess do something a little bit different. Um, came back two week and a half ago whatever um and just straight back into the program with normal with the boys so it was good it was really nice it almost felt like a little mid-season break a bit of fun in the middle and then um back to business hey tight championship you yeah. do have the you do have the red plate still one point separating you and jet beaten now is the the game plan here to try and go to queensland with as many points as you can how do you attack this it's it's getting down to the business end side of things three rounds left coming into the second half how do you attack it 
same same as always I think uh, I feel like it was a little bit more nerve wracking at the start to be honest I think the, the one point seems to have been there the whole year whether it's a handful it seems to be one race so it's nothing I'm thinking about too much to be honest like you said there is still three more rounds there's a lot of racing left and Jed's been really solid so it's uh it's just one race at a time for me I uh love this track I've had good results here in the past and it looks awesome they've done a really really good job here today so things can make for some good racing we uh we just finished up track walk here today as well a new layout for you guys pretty wide it's gonna look like it's gonna be uh there's a lot of lines out there tomorrow what's your thoughts on the circuit here yeah it, it looks really good I think uh obviously with the big facelift they've turned the dirt over again um and I think it's sort of it's fluffed it all up it, it looks really good so it'll be interesting to see how it uh, it forms up but it seems to have some good moisture. It's nice and wide. There's some, there's some different options out there and some good high speed sections. So I think it's going to, like I said, make some good racing. It's been an awesome few weeks, you know. I had a week off after after Maitland, after that crash. Just took a bit of time, get my body right and stuff. But now I'm feeling real good now. Hey, let's go back to that as well. Um, a pretty big moment for you early in the weekend. And it looked like you were, there were struggles throughout that weekend. How did you pull up that week after? Was there any injury to the body or was it just sore? Nah, body was good, just sore, a uh, bit of a sore head, took a few days to get that right. Um, but yeah, it was a struggle, but yeah, we're feeling good now, so that's okay. Hey, championship points for you, obviously, you did lose some points. You still have a, a very good lead there in that class. There's no thoughts about does that creep in, or is it just, hey, I'm going to go out and do my job, the same thing I've done all season? Yeah, nah, not at all, really. i um, just got to do the same thing I did at those first three rounds, yeah. Uh, not too stressed at all. I lost a few points, but... Um, yeah, it is what it is, and yeah, we'll get those points back. It's all good.